This week, Elizabeth Gonzalez Brock was named chair of the Metropolitan Transit Authority, the first Latina to lead the controversial multi-billion dollar operation. Metro has come under fire on this program for its enormous expense and underperformance, most notably a 40% drop in ridership since 2002 and a per rider cost to the taxpayer of about $15 every time a person steps aboard a bus or train. Panel, I think we can all agree we need a transit system, so what kind of guidance can you offer Chairwoman Gonzalez Brock? I'm starting with you, Sue. Well, first I want to offer congratulations. It's a big, it's a big job. Um, you know, my, my focus on Metro, and, and I, I chaired the Transportation Committee on Council is, we have a product that somebody uses called the bus system. We ought to focus and make that the best darn bus system in the United States of America with stops where people have shelters, where they have benches to sit on, where they have high tech, where they know when they get on the bus that they can transfer over very quickly to another bus they need. You know, really get the product that everybody's using right now working in one of the best and then look towards how you want to grow that out and what else you want to do in the city. Marcus, you lived here your whole life. Yep. You watch this thing operate. What needs to happen? Well, I, I, I can tell you this, I, and I got I to gotta push back a little bit on performance, underperformance, right? Yes, all departments need to be scrubbed, right? Everything needs to be reevaluated and see, are we operating highest, best use? Are we operating at the most profitable manner? But let's, let's keep in mind, this is the fourth largest city, and we've attracted a ton of national and international events based solely on the fact that we have mass transportation, and we cannot discount. As a businessman, I am happy that we got two Super Bowls, two NCAA, all-star games the World Cup coming and every one of those entities that reviewed it they would not have passed it had our rail system had Metro not been a part of the package bill is a trade-off been uh, bad maintenance of our roads because we didn't have the money or well, you know because we spent it on Metro well the city of Houston gave up half their sales tax revenue in the 1970s if the city of Houston had that money the city wouldn't have any financial problems all the streets would be paved, mm. police would be paid. I mean, every financial problem you have would, go, would have gone away. About $20 billion over the life of Metro. Billion dollars collected last year just by Metro. Look, here's the problem I've got. I agree with Sue. The, the workhorse is the bus system. That's what still carries about 75% of all the riders. All the light rails that we built are performing way, way below what they were projected. The green and purple line are carrying about 25% of the projected ridership for those lines. And yet we're talking about going and spending now another $3 billion on two BRT lines. And the one BRT line we have is carrying 5% of the projected ridership. It is an insane use of $3 billion. So we are watching, we gotta go to break. Still ahead, <laughs> has your 